All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about some strategies that Jared from Subway, you know, our enemy, our friend, our popular guy, uses to make money on on MEV. Because unlike most sandwich bots, he is not using only one strategy. He uses multiple at the same time and combine them into one so that he beats all of the competition by a mile. and. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of those strategies and how you can benefit, how you can learn from them so that you can also apply them to your MEV bot or maybe learn more about how this works if you're interested. So here's one transaction. This is the basic one where he front runs. Well, in this case, he is selling a token and then buying that same token for a profit in Ethereum. You see first he uses 0.77 ether and then he uses 0.76 ether meaning he is buying in the future for a cheaper price for the same tokens he keeps the tokens but he gets more ether from them and this is very good because few people are doing this few people are holding tokens while at the same time sandwiching those tokens so instead of using your ether you're using tokens to buy ether and sell ether for a profit now for this you you must hold tokens in this case he holds the do it ai token and one of the reasons he holds tokens is because the team behind this bot built some machine learning systems to detect which tokens are about to increase in buys in popularity they are watching things like maybe transaction volume maybe popularity hype whatever it is their program is telling them okay this bot this token is about to go up in value so let's buy it let's hold it for a few minutes and benefit from all the profit that it makes and it works apparently it works and at the same time he's sandwiching using that token okay that's one of the strategies let's take a look at another and this in this one you see a lot of things going on first he well, he's sandwiching a token here, you see, do it AI. He buys and sells that for a profit. And then there are multiple others. There's, there's a Blast token, he is selling that token. There's a BTT token, he is selling that token. And then he's buying those tokens back. This is the same thing as before, but this time they are doing three transactions, three tokens at once in one transaction. Why are they doing this? Well, if you take a look at the position in the block, you can see that it's zero. And this is positioned at position five, which means he is sandwiching multiple tokens. Multiple at once. Instead of just sandwiching one transaction, he's sandwiching one, two, and three, or maybe more, whatever is available at the time in one single block. So instead of just doing this one and then maybe in another block, this one, he's doing all of them at the same time. In fact, let me show you the block. You can see the transactions here. You can go to the last position. Here's the first one. And all of these transactions in the middle between this one and this one, these ones are the victims. Four transactions are being captured, are being sandwiched at the same time. That's a very advanced bot. In order, in order for you to catch four transactions, you need to have a very fast bot and a bot that is optimized for you know working with multiple transactions at once. That's another strategy that I've seen that he applies. And it's a very successful transaction because that allows him to increase the profits that he extracts from that bundle and beat the competition by a mile. Now, this is another thing. He buys a token and he sells the token while at the same time buying a token this token he is held ho holding this token like i said before he is buying and holding some of the tokens let me write that strategy buy and hold is in the same sandwich he is making transactions that benefit him even though they are unrelated to this sandwich 
Yeah, like I said, he is buying and holding tokens, even though they may be unrelated to that particular sandwich transaction. That's using their algorithm where they predict that the price of that particular token they are buying is about to increase. That's why they buy it. Now let's take a look at this. He is buying here on the first transaction of the block. Then there are two victims and he is selling. Let's see what the victims do. First, one of the victims is using one inch to swap WST ETH for USDC and USDC for NX RA. That looks, looks like an arbitrage, right? But we'll see. And then another transaction where he's buying Duet AI. So what, the, what Jared does, he sees that and he is like, okay, let me add an arbitrage between Balancer and Uniswap. You see what he's buying? He's making arbitrage, arbitrages plus sandwiches in the same transaction. You see how clever this is? He is buying white on Balancer and selling white on Uniswap V2 for a profit, a significant profit, 6 to, zero, to 7. And then using that, oh no, he is actually, he is providing liquidity. He is doing plus just in time liquidity. On Uniswap V3, there is a very popular method of making money, which is consistent on adding liquidity to a very narrow range. And once you do that, you let someone else use make a transaction on that range and you benefit from the fees because the fees are given to that particular range to most mostly to you so you earn on the fees this is just in time liquidity and when you see something like this at liquidity what he's doing there he is doing a just in time liquidity providing liquidity for this pair so he's doing arbitrage he's doing a sandwich here and he's providing liquidity all at the same time, sandwich, arbitrage, and just-in-time liquidity. Then he removes the liquidity, of course, at the end and sells the tokens from the sandwich. So in a single bundle, he's able to make money from three different ways, increasing the amount of money he is able to extract from, from the market and beating all of the competition. Maybe in this, in this bundle, he made, I don't know, hundred dollars maybe a thousand dollars and he kept most of it if if you're trying to just sandwich this you see the sandwich opportunity do it AI to buy do it AI and sell it you won't be able to the validators simply will ignore your sandwich because someone like Jared is providing much more money from that same same transaction the way you understand this is by knowing that validators can Take one transaction and put it where they want to. And if your bundle is less profitable than someone like Jared, Jared will be the one taking that transaction and putting it into his program and making money from it. So yeah, these are the main strategies. He is um, buying and holding tokens. He is sandwiching multiple tokens at once in one single bundle. He is capturing maybe three, four transactions buying and keeping all of them at the end and he is applying multiple methods such as arbitrage just in time liquidity and sandwiching in the same bundle this is how jared is able to beat the competition he is capable of up competing every single person that comes after him and simply keeping all of the profits from them for themselves let's see how much profit he made on this well, I'm not sure about the liquidity, so I don't know how much he made on the liquidity, but he made a mo he made money from this, that's for sure. You see the revenue is $83, the profit is barely a dollar. It doesn't seem like much, but um, if, you take a, if you make those transactions every minute, you are making a dollar a minute, which is significant, and sometimes it's more, of course. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, that Jared is able to combine all of these strategies together to beat the competition and making everybody want everybody want to just quit the game because it's 
difficult to compete with someone that does so much and does it so well but the good thing is that you can if you can implement all of those things you may have a chance against Jared hope this video has been helpful and let me know if you want to know more about sandwiching and MEV make sure to join at MEV DAO on telegram and we'll stay in touch there i'm always there see you soon